Hello guys, what's up? Hope that all of you are well with the grace of Almighty. This video is presented by Node Basket. In this video, we will discuss about the assignment provided by NCTV for HSC Batch 21. I am here with all of you in solving the question. So here the first term and the question comes. If we look at the stem carefully or the chart carefully, it has been given the grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3. So in this branch there is the production, marketing and distribution. And in the stem there has been said that the number of the above table represent matrix A. These numbers are the rows and columns of matrix A. So after knowing this matrix we have to identify and answer the following questions okay so we will discuss and answer one by one so the first question comes that i have to determine the matrix a so in the question a it is said that determine a is symmetric matrix or not so what is symmetric matrix to determine it is either symmetric or not we have to know what is symmetric matrix so first of all if we interchange the rows into column and the column into row then before x before exchanging the matrix and after exchanging the both matrix become equal then these two matrix are then this then this matrix is known as symmetric matrix and we generally call this term as transpose matrix and it is represented by a t so according to symmetric matrix we can say that a t is equals to a if this condition follows then we can say that the a is a symmetric matrix okay that let the solution come the here is this solution and um, we can see that if there so we can see that when the a is given and we when we transport this matrix it becomes its load look like equally as the a that means a is not equal to a transpose for this reason we can say that a is not a symmetric matrix okay then let's move to question number b so in the question number b it has said that we have to determine the a square minus 7a plus 6i3 and here i is the identity matrix which is containing of 3 into 3 and is equals to the given 2x and we have to find the unknown x so if i look carefully that all i have all the given all the data i have to pick up and just want to solve if want to if i want to solve a square that means so if i want to know a square that means i have to multiply a with a then we will get the a square and 7 if we multiply 7 with the matrix a we can easily get 7a and for getting identity matrix 6i knowing no identity matrix in the matrix into 3 into 3 where the diagonal of the where the diagonals of the matrix become 1 1 and others remain 0 0 all these types of matrix is called identity matrix and in this term sorry in this question it said that we have to 6 i think that means if we multiply 6 with this identity matrix we can get the required matrix so after finding three different matrix we have to just do the calculation plus and minus and somehow if we can manage to take common by 2 then we can cancel 2 from the both side and in this and in this way we can determine the unknown value of x that first of all i determine a square by multiplying a into a so let's move to next slide and in the next slide i ha we have determined everything at first we determine a square that means in the 7a plus 6 i3 i determine in the gradual way and after finding this way so after getting the answer we just divide by half and this could be the our required answer so this question is so much simple no need to develop about that now let's move to question number c so in the question number c it has said that 
there is a, another matrix called V and it has given all the data. Now we have to show up that A into V is equals to V into A is equals to identity matrix of 3. So, mm, so we have to just multiply A matrix with V and again multiply B matrix with A and if this become equal and is become equal to I3 that means we can justify this so we can justify the answer and we can show it and very easily so let's see the answer of the question look at first we determine um, the look at first from the stem and the question we have found a matrix and v matrix now we multiply m with v we have got a answer again b by a so in the next page we will get another answer yeah we already got the va now if i look carefully it has been said that 80 i3 that means there is 80 i3 this means there is a mistake in the question if we look with the bang with bangla question there will be 80 i3 but in the english version question there is a question mistake we won't solve the question number c now let's move to question number d so in the question number D, it has said that we have to find the unknown C where, where SC is equals to CA is equals to I3. That means I can write that AC is equals to I. Right. So if I want if I want to find C, that means I have to keep C in one part and A in the other part. In this way we can the c is equals to a inverse i obviously there will be i3 so if we find the in this process we can find the unknown value of c so to find the unknown value of c first of all we have to inverse the matrix a after inversing the matrix we have to calculate multiply with i3 and in this way we can easily determine the answer of it so many of you may confuse how to calculate the inverse matrix to calculate the inverse matrix first of all we have to determine so we have to find the determinant of the matrix and if it's not equals to zero that means we can say that there will be existence of the inverse of the matrix for that now we have to determine the cofactors of a so you have been seen that i have determine all the cofactors of the matrix A and after finding all the cofactors we just interchange just interchange the rows into columns and columns into rows and this is called we know as transpose matrix and it is also term known as adjoint of matrix and this is the required of our adjoint matrix and we know that inverse mat to determine inverse matrix we have to at first find the adjoint matrix and we have to divide by its determinant or value this is the key way to determine the inverse matrix of the solution so the next solution has already come to determine the a inverse I all the values that I calculated from the previous slide and after calculated this value I got the answer mostly there has been some information gap and this confirmation is that there has been missing i3 sorry for the mistake the good the answer will be this no need to bother about the answer result but there is a mistake i have forgot to write the i3 okay now let's move to question number e so in the question number e it has been said that if the monthly total salary of the employee of production marketing and distribution branches are respectively given the amounts and we have to determine the monthly salary of an employee for each grade one two and three according to the stem that it has all the given the monthly salary of an employee that means grade a and grade two and grade three i have marked as x y and z now if i put this in a matrix it it look like matrix like this okay now i ex now again i will expressing the total monthly salary for each grade after after expressing we get like this way look 
a x is equal to b that means there is the a matrix and x we have i have put all the unknown value and now we just determine this way i from three unknown equations now i have to solve this equation by okay in the bengali equation there has been given that to solve this question by using determinant in to solve this question by using determinants but there is some lack of information gap in this question for that reason so i have to use the crema rule to solve these types of unknown three variables and for this for this to determine the unknown variables we first have to determine the determinants of this equation and after that we have to determine the determinant of x and determinant of y and determinant of z and it is and i have determined these determinants very easily way by cutting by taking x in the other side and multiplying other side so in this way i firstly i determined the determinant of x and after dx dy and in the next slide i have given the dz after determining all this value we just divided by dx by d and then dy by d and dz by d so after this calculation we got our result x y z that means our three unknown values so in this way um, x i i took x the um, i took x as the salary of the first employee and so i first grade grade one and y by the grade two and z is the grade three that means these are the salary of grade three employee and these are the amount of the amount of taka they received so these are the amount of taka they are earning per month so hope that all of you understood this question and answered very carefully